In this video we're going to continue our discussion of Bootstrap with our Spring Boot application. So currently we have a nav bar that leaves a bit to be desired. Although it does work, it's not necessarily very pretty. What we want to do is we want to replace this with a nav bar from Bootstrap. Now there are many different permutations of this nav bar, including things like drop downs and menus and things like that. I'm going to start simple for two reasons. Number one, to keep it simple. But number two, don't feel the need to overdo a nav bar with too much stuff. The more links you have for the user to press, the more distracted the user is going to become. It's better to keep it simple. So let's start with this nav bar down here where we have just some text and then we have a search bar and a search button. Uh, since it is just plain old HTML plus bootstrap, I can simply copy this unit here and then I'm going to run back to my start HTML page. And by the way, since the last video, I did do a little bit of prettying up. I did add bootstrap to our other fields, longitude, description, and plant. So you see it's starting to become a more cohesive look and feel. Nonetheless, we run back here to start HTML and our current nav is this right up here. So let's just paste in what we got from Bootstrap and paste. And okay, instead of this, instead of nav bar, we'll replace that with welcome to plant places. You see, I'm just gonna do a little bit of uh, shuffling around here. There we go, welcome to plant places. And we could even just change that to plant places if we wanna make it a little more simple. Now for the form, remember that we need to mix together the look and feel that we get with Bootstrap with the attributes that we get from Timeleaf. So it's going to be a combination of what's on line 13 and what's on line 18 as well. So let me just take this class here, which is a CSS class, and simply drop it down to uh, the form open tag that we made earlier. That was kind of backwards because actually I need that form open tag back up here on line 13. There we go, a little more pretty. Um, input type text name equals search term. We're really close to what we need there. Uh, we just need to take this attribute name search term and place it up here into this input class here. There we go, search term. Okay, and then the search button, more than likely that one's going to be okay as is. So uh, with all that, I'm gonna delete the last remnants of our original nav bar, save, restart, and we'll see what we get. I'll go back to the page and refresh and take a look a much more modern kind of um, nice looking navigation bar that we have now with the search button and the search term that we have up above. Now a big question is, does it still work as it did before? Let me go ahead and put in Eastern Red button, hit search, and Eclipse is lighting up orange, which is good because that indicates that a break term has hit. Now I mouse over search term and sure enough, Eastern Red Bud appears and that is what I placed in that form. F6, and let's look at this in high def. There we go. And F5 will take us into the specimen service. And once again, we're gonna hit this hard-coded stub that we hit that we hit earlier because we did indeed put red butt in. So everything still works as it did before. So that's a good start for our nav bar. One other thing that we wanna consider is we might indeed have multiple pages. And if we do, we don't wanna copy and paste the same nav bar in each place. What we would rather do is essentially include it using time leaf. We'll cover that in our next video when we talk about TH replace. I look forward to seeing you then. Thank you.